I was thinking about um, back in the time of ISIS, when ISIS reigned in, your, in um, Egypt, the Egyptian pharaohs would sit upon the throne. And when they sat upon the throne, it was like a, a key time that it indicated sort of they'd taken up the throne, right? They had initiated themselves as the pharaoh or had been initiated as the pharaoh. But what that throne meant for them was that they had sat in the lap of the great mother. What that throne was about, well, while they may have projected an image outside of, of masculine strength and sto stoicism and sort of, I've got this, you know, I've got this, I've got the, the power and the control and I know how to do this. Inside what they were able to experience when they sat in that throne with the belief and the knowing and the faith that they sat in the very lap of the Divine Mother, the very lap of Isis, was that they were protected, that they were always protected, that they were always nurtured, that there was guidance available to them. And so from a spiritual standpoint, an emotional standpoint, they could feel that sense of powerful, supportive foundation when they sat upon the throne. So it gives a whole different feel, doesn't it? What if as we sat upon the places maybe where we like to meditate or even in our favorite chairs, as we just sat down and let ourselves just sort of be and, and imagine that, ah, I'm sitting now in the lap of the mother. I'm protected, I'm supported, I'm loved, I'm guided, whatever it is that we might need, nurtured. So over time in history, that... Um, Isis idea of the mother goddess, the Madonna even. Isis then held her son Horus, and there were many Madonna images of the goddess Isis with her son Horus. And then, of course, as Christianity caught on, then that was um, those were overtaken, and, and we had Mother Mary with Jesus as the new Madonna. So there's, there's many, many images over time of this, this holding, this this rocking, this um, supporting, this nurturing. And I think about now that kind of image would be really helpful for us to allow ourselves to receive, to let ourselves just kind of give in to that, and let ourselves be buoyed up by that. 